We upgraded the stock about six months ago, and <clears throat> as you just said, the stock has run 35% into earnings here, so a 10% revenue growth. You know, the street was expecting high singles. It really needed to be a bit more than that to keep the stock moving. That said, the, sto the stock um, story is very much intact, in my opinion. The product looks as good as candy, and clearly they've wrestled back some market share from Adidas that has become a bit less exciting globally, particularly in Europe. So right now, if you look at the trajectory of the business, I think Nike is going more direct, which is higher margin, cutting out more of the wholesale channel, and has some of the best product out there in the, in the space. So, Jan, would you look at a 4% decline here after hours, which is now paired to 2.5%? And I was just going to ask, would you tell people to buy that? Or is there anything you want to see fleshed out more in this release? Well, I hate to disagree with one of my best buddies, Stacy, but no, I wouldn't be telling them to buy. It's had a big run up. I think all the longs that want to be long are actually in. I thought if they turned in a 70 today, we'd see the stock better. I thought 65 was good enough, and I thought 67 would be an okay number, and it looks to me like the street is saying exactly that. I think they are doing a better job. I've been positive on Nike for, gee, over a year now, just like Stacy has. But I'm kind of done with that process because I believe the run-up has happened, and I do think they're gaining ground, especially in Asia. But I don't think they're really knocking the cover off the ball in the States. And I don't think this ad did them any good. I think it was good for their DTC business. I think it was good for their Foot Locker business. I don't think it was good for their broader business. Why? So that's what a temporary that? short-term thing. Because I think Why that it think hurt it the business. Because I think it hurt the business in the mass market. I think it was very good with the under 35, and the under 25-year-old. I don't think for the mass market it was a help. So I think it's kind of a mixed thing in the short term. Long term, I think it'll be good for them. And I think strong brands are great. I think Nike's a great brand manager. So long term, I think Nike's good. In the short term, I think maybe it's run its course here as far as the acceleration in the stock price. Stacey has come off its sort of 4% initial decline, now down 2.7%. Way up for us, uh, the preference between Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, and uh, other competitors. Yeah, so I think it's very clear, and we started talking about a year ago, particularly in Europe, when the channel got very clean and Adidas kind of became less exciting and Nike became more exciting. They have color, they have newness. So so they kind of own the space right now. Um, I would say that going forward, though, you do need to watch out because Adidas is coming out with a few new SKUs that do look OK, that are more exciting. And also they launched the Falcon, um, another uh, Jenner collaboration here. So watch out for market share there. But right now, in terms of the product out in the market and the long term margin potential, Nike owns it, and if you're a long-term buyer of, of some a stock in this space, I think no, Nike is the one to own.